Hey everybody, welcome to another installment of A Week in Geekdom, and today we're going to be taking a look at all of that over there. My anime collection for 2019. everybody welcome to a very long video get yourself a drink get yourself a good snack because we're going to be talking about all the anime in my collection and it there's a lot i don't have the biggest collection whatsoever but i do have a lot of titles that are very uh awesome and near and dear to my heart and this was suggested by a number of people the last one i did was last year and I am very excited to do another one uh, this year, because who doesn't like to talk about their favorite collection, right? <laughs> if you're watching this for the very first time and you don't know uh, what this channel's about, I basically talk about anime, manga, comics, and uh, just, you know, geeky stuff in general when I get the chance. Uh, and I'm very happy that you could be here. Uh, if you want me to review a specific anime that you see here, uh, Blu-ray and DVD, because I do have a lot of DVDs, old school fan right here, old school collector, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. So let's get this thing started. Uh, okay, first one here is Attack on Titan Season 1 Part 1. I absolutely love this series. Uh, basically, these two volumes... Uh, complete the first season of season two right here season two here we have season three part one next up one of the most interesting uh, world building exercises in anime I think and it is the uh, index and railgun universe here we have index season one index season two certain magical index the movie uh, the miracle of endymion Uh, certain scientific railgun season one and a certain scientific railgun s basically the second season so i cannot wait for the rest to be collected in uh blu-ray form as well a silent voice the movie uh barakamon the essentials edition black lagoon roberta's blood trail i only have one this is the first set for Bleach. I had the DVDs, but I'm slowly going to upgrade these. Uh, hopefully, they do end up releasing everything, but I do have the first set. Uh, Boruto the Moving. We'll get to uh, his dad in a couple minutes. The Boy and the Beast. Clanad and Clanad After Story, also known as the Tear Jerker anime. Uh, what's uh, Code Geass, one of my all-time top 10 shows. We have Code Geass R2, second season. And, of course, Akito the Exiled. A classic, or actually two classics. Here we have Cowboy Bebop and Death Note. Death Parade. I'm gonna grab this whole stack. Uh, Digimon Adventure Try. The whole thing. I I could have just gotten the uh, complete movie collection thing. It was just one disc uh, or one case, I should say. But I wanted to pick it up as it was coming out. So all six of them, all six of them are here. I think this was my first Aniplex purchase, and I was so happy to get this for cheap, because you know about Aniplex. It is Durarara, one of my favorite shows. Actually, I'm going to be saying that a lot, but you guys know what it, what you mean. You love all your shows, but sometimes you have a favorite amongst all of them, right? So, yeah, this is one of my uh, all-time favorites, uh, Durarara, the complete first season. Here we have Durarara X2. I only have... The first volume, this is something that I want to uh, collect eventually, uh, but they are pricey because there are single editions, unlike the uh, first season's box set. Uh, this is going to take a little bit uh, to collect, but I do have the first one right here. Uh, Eden of the East, I do have the movies, which I'll show you in a bit. 
one of my all-time favorite shows ever. This is Eureka 7 on Blu-ray. I, I also double-dipped, and I, I have this on uh, DVD as well. Uh, here is the not-so-great sequel, Eureka 7 AO. And uh, the first of the High Evolution movies. Sort of recap with uh, alternate takes on the Eureka 7 uh, world. The first one. Next up, I do not own the Evangelion uh, DVDs, um, but I do have the Rebuild movies. This one's signed by Spike Spencer. Here is the second one. And the third one. I'm really excited that we finally have uh, the fourth one coming out in 2020. Uh, next up, the Fate series, which is pretty interesting. Uh, I had the DVD versions for this one, the original Fate's Day Night series, and I gave those away to a friend so I could upgrade to this. So I did. Cool. Um, I also wanted to collect the Unlimited Blade Works and the Fate Zero stuff, you know, the UFO table stuff. And uh, when I finally got ready to get them, because they are expensive, uh, box set one for Unlimited Blade Works went out of stock and suddenly went out of print uh, just as quickly. So I was only able to grab the second box set, which is pretty freaking fantastic. Now you're probably wondering what happened to that first one. I do have it here, but on uh, DVD. So yeah, unfortunately, half on DVD and the other half on Blu-ray. I don't really mind, but I do have some uh, peeps that get annoyed by that. So just thought I should mention it for a quick laugh. Uh, next up, we got uh, Heaven's Feel, the first of the three movies. Flying Witch. Oh, and uh, Food Wars, Season 1 and Season 2, or Second Plate. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. This is set 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. These are uh, terribly out of print. Funimation uh, let the license expire, I guess. And now Aniplex has them, but I am very happy to own the series in this format because I love these sets. Uh, here we have Fullmetal Alchemist, The Sacred Star of Milos. Ghost in the Shell, the 25th Anniversary Edition, Slipcase. Uh, Ghost in the Shell, Arise. And uh, Arise Part 2, or actually uh, Part 1 and 2, and this is Part 3 and 4. So there you go. Ghost in the Shell, the new movie, which is a sequel to the Arise uh, material. Golden Kamui, Season 1. Haikyuu, Season 1. Season 2. Season 3 is coming up. It's pretty exciting. Uh, on Blu-ray. And Season 4 on uh, TV. This is Helsing, the uh, Ultimate Series, the Ultimate OVAs. Uh, this was the chipboard box. At the time, we didn't know if we were going to get Volumes 9 and 10 made you know the actual movies but eventually you know they made them so the chipboard unfortunately only fits uh the first um eight movies and you had to get this one <laughs> later on this is volume nine and ten or movie nine and ten i should say high school of the dead high school of the dead drifters uh ova himoto umaru chan the complete edition our collection uh, Hozuki's Cool Headedness Season 1. I still need to get Season 2 and 3. Next up, my all time favorite Shonen Jump anime, manga, whatever you want to call it. It's still an amazing piece of art. Hunter Hunter. And yeah, I am going to show every volume because why the hell not? That's Volume 2. Here we have Volume 3. Uh, volume 4, I really wish I could have shown the entirety of the series, but unfortunately it's not solicited, so we only have up to Volume 6 right here. It should be one more, and then we're done. I do have the movies here, uh, Phantom Rogue, and uh, what was this called again? The Last Mission. Pretty good. Uh, Phantom Rogue, not so great. It looks fantastic, but not a great story. This was a ton of fun. I enjoy watching this over this. But uh, the series itself, I love it to death. Uh, next up, Hyoka, part one. 
and Hyoka Part 2. Infinite Stratus. By the way, this was the very first anime Blu-ray I ever got. And it was on sale or for cheap, and I looked at it, I didn't know what the heck it was, and I felt like doing a blind purchase, and I went, Infinite Stratus, complete collection. Eh, why not? Turns out, I didn't really love it that much, but here it is, Infinite Stratus, my first anime Blu-ray out of everything. <laughs> Next up, a classic uh, that I'm currently uh, watching. This is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, set one. Set two, and of course, set three. I don't have set four as of this uh, video because there's no rush, and we still need uh, another one for part four and then two more sets for part five. So, uh, we're gonna be collecting JoJo's for a while. And this little gem, I am so happy that this is getting reprinted so I can finally own it. This is uh, Kill the Kill. I got this last year uh, from Aniplex. The limited edition volume 1 and uh, volume 4 because this is all they had left and I said eh, you know what they were going for sale uh, for cheap and I got them uh, at least I'll have something but uh, this year we got the announcement that uh, for Christmas we are getting uh, the kill the kill complete uh, reprinted box set all in one uh, box all that stuff really excited about that uh, over here we got Love, Chinibio, and Other uh, Delusions. And uh, the same title, Take On Me, the uh, sequel. And the third, Legend of Fujiko Mine. This is such a shame that it's an out-of-print title. I love this series so much. And um, all the Lupin stuff is in canon to each other, but you sort of like separate them via uh, whether it's Lupin's jacket or the tone of the anime. In the case of this series, it's a lot more uh, grim and noir heavy. And if you want to follow that style, then you need to get uh, Jigen's Gravestone. And you need to get uh, Goemon's Blood Spray. Lupin the Third Part Four: The Italian Adventure. Now this is an oddity because I thought we were past this, but apparently if you want to collect uh, Part Four, uh, this only has the English dub and the opening and closing songs were removed due to licensing issues. So what they did was they re-released -re this Blu-ray box uh, with the sub only and the original opening and closing later on. So if you want, if you're a fan like me and you want to have everything, you would need to get the two sets. Uh, unless I find it for dirt cheap, I, I really don't see myself uh, getting this again. It's still a fun series. I love Lupin, and I hope to collect the whole series, the whole uh, franchise one day, because I really do need to pick up the OVAs and the uh, older series and stuff. But I am mostly excited about Part 5. I really want to get Part 5 on Blu-ray whenever that's uh, released, because it looks pretty spectacular in my opinion. Uh, Made in Abyss, Machia movie, and yes, this is an anime, Mass Effect Paragon Lost, based on the uh, video game franchise, one of my favorite, one of my favorite video game franchises. Michigo and Hachin, huge Watanabe fan, so I, I am trying to get all his works on Blu-ray. Ms. Hokusai, one of my favorite animated movies ever. I love this so much. Ms. Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Mob Psycho 100, Season 1. Myriad Colors, Phantom World. Asc uh, this is the Essentials Edition. Just have the cover uh, flipped. My Hero Academia, Season 1. Season 2, Part 1. Season 2, Part 2. Season 3, Part 1. Season 3, Part 2. The Two Heroes movie. Only two One Piece movies. Uh, One Piece Film Z. And One Piece Strong World. I was going to try and collect One Piece, but it's too much. I'm content with just uh, collecting the manga instead. Uh, one Punch Man Season 1. Here we have Overlord. I like that it says Complete Series because they didn't know they were going to get a Season 2. But here's Season 2, or Part 2, and Part 3 of Overlord. 
Pat Labor or Pat Laver, however you want to say it, uh, the Mobile Police Force. This is the complete television series, the OVAs, and the movies all in one awesome package. Prison School, Red Line, the movie. Here is ReZero, and uh, here's part two for ReZero. Saga of Tanya the Evil, the original Genie on release for Samurai Champloo Blu-ray. Now Funimation has this uh, in their catalog, so it's sort of a rare item, if you will. Not pricey, just a little bit rare. Space Dandy, one of my favorite space anime ever. Space Dandy, the first half and this is the second half. Uh, Sengoku Basara, Safe Edition. Shiki, Safe Edition. Shimoneta, a world where the concept of dirty jokes does not exist. Space Brothers. A whole lot of Space Brothers. All eight of them. This was insane. This was When this was coming out, this was pretty expensive. I was able to snag these bad boys. I think it was a Black Friday or Christmas Sentai sale for like five bucks each. So I wasn't going to pass that up. Plus... Space Doggy right there. Love it. Spice and Wolf. Steins Gate. Here we have the movie. What's this called? Load Region of Deja Vu. I do not have the other series. I will get that eventually. Uh, the Ancient Magus' Bride. Complete. With everything inside right there. The Girl Who Loved Through Time. The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, Seasons 1 and 2, and The Disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya, the movie. Do you guys remember when this came out on uh, Blu-ray? Not on Blu-ray. When this came out on DVD, and then um, Bandai went out of business. So every single, I think it was Bandai, every single release went out of print and super hard to find. I was so ticked off because I couldn't get it. I only had this because uh, Funimation got the license for it again, uh, but they didn't have the movie. So eventually they did. So that was awesome. <laughs> I was able to complete the series. Here we have uh, the Squid Girl, complete series with the uh, OVAs. Wolf Children. And oh, here it is. Uh, your name, the uh, weird... Uh, deluxe edition. This next section is in no particular order, just two massive collections and a random assortment of miscellaneous Blu-rays. Um, here we have the Studio Ghibli collection starting with Nausicaa, uh, Castle in the Sky, yeah, it's Grave of the Fireflies, My Neighbor Totoro, Kiki's Delivery Service, uh, Princess Mononoke, Whisper of the Heart, here we have Pompoco, Ocean Waves, Porco Rosso, Only Yesterday, Ponyo, Tales of Tales from Earthsea, uh, Howl's Moving Castle, The Cat Returns, Spirited Away, My Neighbor the Amadas, Secret World of Arietti, From Up on Poppy Hill, The Wind Rises, When Marnie Was There, and The Tale of Princess Kaguya. That's all the Ghibli stuff. And here is something really badass that I love. And I think every every mech fan should try to assemble this at some point. Uh, that's just my honest opinion. It is the Universal Century Gundam. Now, I love Gundam. I have watched a, a, a lot of them, a lot of the series. But um, originally I thought I was, I wanted to collect all the Gundam Blu-rays but when I started looking at them, especially with some of the series that aren't so great, I'm like, do I really want that when I can use that for something else? I can use that space for something else? Eh, I don't know. So I decided instead to just collect the Universal Century. And I do have other Gundam shows that I will show you later in the DVD section that I do want to upgrade to Blu-ray because they're my favorites. Uh, my favorite non-UC stuff. But for the most part, yeah, Blu-ray wise, I'm just collecting uh, whatever is out there for the Universal Century. So we begin our journey with the movie trilogy. I don't have the series, but I do have the movie trilogy, Blu-ray. 
uh, Zeta Gundam part one and two. This is part two right there. Double Zeta part one and double Zeta part two. Here we have Shard's counterattack. There we go. <laughs> this thing, <laughs> 0080, which is getting a Blu-ray release. Thank goodness for that. Uh, I'm so excited because this was the only thing <laughs> in here that's DVD. Uh, Gundam F91. Gundam 0083. 08th MS Team. Gundam Unicorn. We have here Gundam The Origin. And uh, that was the first four. This is episode five and six of the uh, OVA series. Uh, and the Thunderbolt uh, adaptation. December Sky and Banded Flower. Why couldn't we have gotten black cases for this? Who knows? Miscellaneous Blu-rays. Okay. Here we have Darling into Franks, which I know gets a lot of heat, but I dug it. Whatever. Um, this isn't supposed to be on this pile, but this is Zammed, the complete series uh, DVD. Hasn't been released on Blu-ray that I know of. Here we have uh, Toradora. This is the... Uh, it's on a regular DVD case, but it's the combo. You get the Blu-ray. You get both. You get the Blu-ray and the DVD inside. So, there you go. It counts. So, Volume 1... And volume two of Toradora. Again, this wasn't supposed to be on this pile, but still, one of my all-time favorite series that Aniplex, for some reason, did, did not care to release on Blu-ray. Maybe it was a licensing thing, or maybe... or No, it's not a licensing issue, because you are releasing it. This is uh, Silver Spoon Season 1 and Silver Spoon Season 2. I, I really don't understand why they did not release it on Blu-ray when Europe has some really cool Blu-ray sets for this show. Uh, but this, I love this set so much and it's just a damn shame that we don't have it on uh, Blu-ray. And then continuing the DVDs, we have Akira the movie. I do not have the Blu-ray because I'm waiting for the uh, recently announced uh, 4K edition that's going to come out in 2020. So yeah. Akira, or Akira, however you want to say it. Here we have Big Wind Up, uh, Black Lagoon Steelbook. We got a couple of Bleach Seasons and Movies. Uh, sorry for the glare. That's uh, Case Closed. The Viridian sets, if anybody remembers that. We have The Count of Monte Cristo, Gankotsu, uh, Darker Than Black. The Blu ray sets as well. Digimon the first season. I really do need to get seasons at least season two and three the rest I really don't care for the an angel ergo proxy the original full metal alchemist with uh, Conqueror of Shambhala and the OVA collection. Oh, there's a blu-ray set. That's the OVA collection for Brotherhood uh, Ghost in the Shell. I do not have uh, I never got the second movie on blu-ray for some reason and Standalone complex. It's my favorite uh, Ghost in the Shell thing ever, but I do believe that the Blu-rays are faulty and they're not like the best versions of that series. So I don't know. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but from what I hear, it's um, it's not the best version that you can get. Uh, so I'd rather stick with uh, these releases, the um, uh, Bandai Anime Legends set. Uh, then over here, yeah, Naruto, I know. <laughs> uh, Kids on the Slope, Last Exile, Le Chevalier d'Eon. I should get that anime um, save edition that, you know, it saves you a lot of space, but these sets are just gorgeous, in my opinion. Some of my favorite uh, singles. They shine and they look fantastic. Moribito, Mushishi, Please Teacher or Onegai Teacher, Read or Die, the OVA. You got Scryd, um Complete Collection, Waiting in the Summer, Yu Yu Hakusho, they're all banged up because I bought them dirt cheap used, because, you know, <laughs> the condition was terrible. Uh, but I do want to get those uh, commemorative steel books eventually. Uh, Gurren Lagann, the DVD version, I do not have the Blu-rays on that. I'm going to spare you going through each volume, but I do have Naruto, uh, 
you know, the entire Naruto series, one of my favorite anime of all time. So from the uncut box set one, you can see the top there. Uh, to the end of the fillers, to the movies, and then Shippuden, all of Shippuden, all the way up to 38, a couple movies here, the last, the thir uh, volume 38 being the final Naruto uh, DVD. And good lord, I hope they don't put them out on Blu-ray, because I will probably double dip again. Over here we have the Dragon Ball Z Kai section, which is pretty funky looking because you got that first edition right there, that uh, season one, then the rest are missing their slip cases, but they're all in there. I'm missing the Boo stuff. I don't know if I want to get the Blu-rays and then upgrade everything or just, you know, get the, uh, the DVD versions because I doubt there's that much of a difference anyways, but you know, there's that. Uh, Broly. I have the original Broly movie. That's the only non-canon uh, film from Dragon Ball that I like. Uh, Battle of Gods and Resurrection F. I do not have Super yet because, uh, I don't know, I'm burned out from all the uh, Dragon Ball stuff. I, I really do not care. I do want to get the Broly movie though because Broly is my favorite Dragon Ball villain. So I probably get that. Uh, a couple random Sayuki volumes, Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust on DVD, uh, Trigon Batlands Rumble, back when Ronin Kenshin was Samurai X, a couple Beast Wars, a couple random things like uh, Pokemon DVD, Rose Hunt Elves, uh, Ronin Kenshin, the Kyoto Saga, Witchblade, there we go, Monster, Eden of the East, uh, The King of Eden, and um, Paradise Lost, Eureka 7 on DVD, the first Eureka 7 movie, Random Inuyasha DVD, and Blood Plus Complete. And if you're wondering, uh, over here, well, there's a random cup with Viva, but over here, that's the um, first season of Roni Kenshin. This is Romeo and Juliet. Samurai 7, Wolf's Reign, Speed Graffer, Summer Wars. Uh, yes, this is a bootleg because it's terribly out of print, so whatever. But um, I, I hopefully I do end up upgrading when the Blu-rays are accessible for like Tokyo Godfathers and Millennium Actress, but Perfect Blue just came out with a Blu-ray that I really need to get. Uh, Paprika as well. Here we have uh, Godaner, the Thin Pack Edition with the whole series. Turn A Gundam, and since we're talking about Gundam, this is one of the series that I do want to upgrade, the Gundam Seed stuff, which I adore so much. I know it's not everybody's favorite, but I love uh, Gundam Seed Destiny and Gundam Seed. So there's another shot of Gundam Seed and Seed Destiny, and of course, Gundam Double O, the two main Gundam series that I want to upgrade. Uh, aside from that, I'll just keep collecting the Universal Century stuff on Blu-ray when it's released. So there you have it, folks. That was a lot of Blu-rays and DVDs that I just mentioned. I do have some other uh, randoms that I did not show. They're in a closet somewhere, <laughs> tucked away, but that was a good 99.9% .9 of the collection. Uh, I don't have a lot compared to some of those wonderful collections that you see here on, on this platform on YouTube, but I am excited with what I have. I delayed the collection as long as possible because one, I wanted it to feature all of Hunter Hunter, but that couldn't happen. Uh, we don't know when that will end, uh, being released, I mean. Also, I would have wanted to uh, have upgraded a bunch of the DVD series, but I couldn't do that. Uh, but eventually I'll do. It's not something that's on the priority list. I'm just focusing on getting um, all the series that I watch that I like and all the new stuff that is coming out and whatnot, uh, like the Fate series. And, and I'm really excited about uh, Fate Zero, which I did not talk about. I couldn't get that because those were out of print. Uh, those two box sets so they're releasing it in one new uh, reprinted box and I'm really excited about that I can't wait to get my hands on that uh, so yeah uh, leave a comment down below what you thought of my uh, anime collection if you're new to the channel thank you again for watching I really really freaking appreciate you tuning in and watching me uh, go through all the uh, titles that you saw Really awesome stuff uh, that I enjoy watching. Uh, anime is a passion and hobby. Been 
been collecting since I'm gonna say 2002, 2001, something like that. So yeah, uh, it is a passion of mine to watch uh, anime, and um, yeah. As always, guys, thank you for uh, subscribing, commenting, liking, and being a part of this channel. Thank you so very much. Follow me on your favorite social media platform, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. Thank you once again. I have got to go. I've got more anime to watch, more stuff to review, and I will catch all of you on our next episode.